The war in Gaza must end. Clear violations of international human rights and humanitarian laws, including war crimes and possibly other crimes under international law, have been committed by all parties. It is time, well past time, for peace, investigation and accountability. Over the past five months of warfare, the office has recorded many incidents that may amount to war crimes by Israeli forces, as well as indications that Israeli forces have engaged in, in, in indiscriminate or disproportionate targeting that violates international humanitarian law. The launching by Palestinian armed groups of indiscriminate projectiles across southern Israel and as far as Tel Aviv also violates international humanitarian law, as does the continued holding of hostages. <laughs> the prospect of an Israeli crowned assault on Rafah would take the nightmare being inflicted on people in Gaza to a new dimension. Over 1.5 million people are sheltering in Rafah despite continuing bombardment and it has become Gaza's humanitarian hub. A ground assault would incur potentially massive loss of life, additional risk of atrocity crimes, new displacement to another unsafe location distribution and sign a death warrant for any hope of effective humanitarian aid. For my part, I fail to see how such an operation could be consistent with the binding provisional measures that were issued by the International Court of Justice. Tell me, if Israel withdraws from Gaza tomorrow, do you think Hamas would lay down its arms? Do you think Hamas will commit to not rebuilding its tunnels and restoring its terrorist arsenal and instead commit to justice and peace? You think if Israel stopped this war today, Hamas will return all our hostages tomorrow? Mr. High Commissioner, the answer is simply no. Therefore, Therefore, Israel has a duty to its population to ensure that never again Ham can Hamas attack our lands, never again can it seek to eradicate our people. Unfortunately, some condemn what happened on October 7 and with the strongest term possible too. But no one condemns or mentions the killing of children, women and elderly and the destruction of legally protected institutions and the destruction of infrastructure. Twelve thousand six hundred children, eight thousand women are the human shields. It is a shame to see this happening in the twenty first century. It is a stain on the forehead of all the humanity. You all have children witnessing this massacre. I don't know how these things grow up and how they will view the statements you are making and justifications you are giving. Some shamefully continued to debate Article seven yesterday. This is shameful. We need more than Article seven. In fact, there should be 100 articles to ensure that the occupying power responsible for genocide and slaughter respect their legal obligations. You are aware that there are more than 1.9 million Palestinians who were forcibly displaced.
أنتم تعلموا أن هناك أكثر من مليون وتسعمائة ألف فلسطيني تم تهجيرهم قسرا ضد استهداف المدنيين. We are against the targeting of civilians no matter what, be it before the 7th of October or on the day afterward. You need to take this into account. Things do not begin on 7th of October. 75 years of this catastrophe, 56 years of occupation, 17 years of siege. None of you remember that since the year 2000 and until October 7th, there have been more than 19,000 Palestinian civilian martyrs. But we have heard no condemnation of any kind. There is more failure, humanitarian failure, racist, strategic failures. You need to wake up and enforce the law. Thank you, Mr. President. شكراً سيد الرئيس أشكر سعادتكم على مدخلتكم Now I give the floor to the distinguished representative of the list of speakers and I will also announce that the list of speakers is now closed So the next speaker is Pakistan on behalf of the OIC Pakistan you have the floor never done in their life. Humanitarian aid is as hidden to hate and to murder children, women, elderly, like happened in 7th October and like happens in Israel. I felt like the High Commissioner is closing his eyes. He's speaking with his eyes closed. And not only since October 7th, since 80 years ago, when we had the first Holocaust, and now we're having the second Holocaust, and he is falling asleep on his guard. And I want to tell him and all the other ambassadors here that are watching, and that clap their hands to the lies and denials of the Palestinian ambassador, you should be ashamed of yourselves. You shouldn't be able to sleep at night because there are kids on both sides that are being killed. The war needs to end and there needs to be peace when we have safe.